Frankie told me at one point, like I said, I, I think I, I talk about these things now, and it seems that it, it's, it's, it's so monumental to me, but at the time I just did what I was told. Frankie says, go to, park, to Central Park South, and crew has an apartment there. Mm -hmm. This is like 73, 74. And he says, go see what they're doing. They're writing a song for me, him and a guy named Kenny Nolan. So I go in, and Kenny's at the piano, and they're, they're, they're writing the song, Sweet Eyes of Georgia. And Sweet Eyes of Georgia is a beautiful song, and I'm there, and, and they changed the name of the song to My Eyes Adored You, and the rest is, as they say, history. I was, I was there to watch that happen in Crew's apartment. How did it all evolve, though, like when you're 19 and you suddenly you're, you're part of the Four Seasons? So how did you get that, that gig with, with Frankie? How did, how I did got that the gig part? Because, well, I was, I was seen conducting an 18-piece big band that I was doing kind of just as, you know, like a club date while I was in Manhattan School of Music. And they were trying to replace two, they were trying to kill two birds with one stone. Gordio didn't want to be on the road, and they needed to do a new arrangements of new songs while they were traveling, not come back and see Charlie, who was in, based in New Jersey. And I told them, they came in uh, based on a referral from a guy named Lou Toby, who's a local Jersey guy, you know, conductor. And Duke Natoli, the road manager, came in and saw me, and I got a call from, uh, you know, from uh, Joe Long the next day and said, mm. please come down to the Fountain Restaurant, to the Banquet Hall in Belleville, New Jersey. We want to audition you. And I went in, and Frankie showed up, and they put music in front of me, and I played, and they gave me the damn job. <laughs> That's how it happened. That's what happened. Interesting. And then we all went for meatballs in the catering area. <laughs> and now, that's what happened, too. Now, you've been uh, in involved with music for, oh, I believe, over four decades, not only with Frankie Valley, of course, you're with the Hitmen today. And we were talking with Frank Jekyll earlier, he'll be on the show, he says, he says to stay fit, you always have to, you always have to be active in the business. So, so as soon as you're not active, you know, you get kind of stale and you're kind of goofing off on the microphone. You don't know what's going on, even if it's a live show, it doesn't feel as though it is. But uh, we are live and uh, alive. And it's, uh, well, I'm, what I'm saying is that you've been really instrumental in this industry for so long and worked with so many other great people along with Frankie Valley. Yeah, I've been very blessed, man. After I left Frankie, uh, I got a call from Don Ciccone, who was doing basically a fill-in date with Tommy James. It was so enjoyable that uh, we ended up working with me and Don and Tommy as Sean Bells. We worked with Barry Manilow co-producing the soundtrack to Copacabana the Musical for Broadway. Uh, actually, it was in London, but it was in the Vegas stages. And he's a genius and a beautiful man, and now he's back. He has a, a deal in Vegas where he's at a residency and out there being Barry and doing it, man. He's, he's timeless. My most recent project, though, if you don't mind me segueing, because mm -hmm. I'm paying a little tribute, a little long overdue thank you to Frankie Valley for recognizing that I was the right guy to fill in for, for Gaudio, which I still don't believe to this day. Mm -hmm. And as a result of that, Jeff Gans, who was my fellow hitman and my friend for 35 years and uh, replaced Larry Gates when he passed in the hitman as the bass player, has produced me playing piano, a, a, a CD called Lee Shapiro Plays the Greatest Hits of Frankie Valley. It's my way of honoring him, paying a little tribute, and saying thank you for launching my career 45 years ago. And basically we, we just did it as instrumental music of me kind of musing along in my living room, playing the piano, as though I'm in your house, kind of doing my, my, my audio biography of Frankie's songs. And as you told me earlier before the show that, that that Frankie, uh, you asked him for actually for permission to do this. He said, of course, of course. So he, he, I asked him for permission to do the Hitmen, too. And he said, with all the tribute bands, Lee, they need my permission. You were one of the Four Seasons. You don't. And then I was very on. I was very on. What a, what a nice thing. And isn't it great that Frankie is, is still touring after all these years? 84 regularly. years old. I saw him last December. We had a very tearful little reunion. We've been, you know, and we're phone friends. But to see the man... When I joined, I was 19 and he was 38. Well, I'm 65, he's 84. And you're looking at your life when you look into the man's eyes. Mm -hmm. And honestly, vice versa. He looked at me like, where'd this little kid go that I hired, you know, who didn't shave yet? <laughs> it, it's, it's magical stuff. I'm very, I get a little choked up, but I'm, I really love it. Well, we're going to play, uh, we're gonna play uh, a couple of songs. Well, I can't take my eyes off of you. It's the first one. Let's do that This one. is Jeff's concept, Jeff Gans. Jeff Gans and WPAT, Willie Shapiro, WPAT Radio. Well, it was eventually. There. Let's try. You know how these CDs are. You, you either love them or you don't. But this is what Download happens, it. especially on a uh, on a live show. Let's see what happens now. Let's see if we get lucky. All righty, there we go. That should do it. Well, it should do it. We could sing it, but it's a piano CD. 
Anyway, it's, uh, it's good that we're here because our phone number here is 212-219-9695. We're going to play uh, another song that you were on from December of 1963. Please do. And as we find our it's way... Actually, to... It was actually December of 1977, but the song is called... Take it, Teddy. December of 1963. Oh, what a night. Oh, what a night. Correct, sir. Right here, WPAT Radio. Let's get this one rolling now, ladies and gentlemen. It's a music show, right? Well, we, we sometimes call it that. <laughs> As Joey Reynolds said, sometimes it becomes Joey, a, living, gosh, a talk show, you know. Joey Reynolds. Wow. <laughs> Okay, the CD machine is working, so we'll segue. 